Hi, and welcome to a short Gravity.io video about authentication flows. This one is about the inline basic flow. So let's head over to the API manager in Gravity. So what we've got here, what we're first of all going to do is create an API. Let's use the design studio and let's call it inline basic. Let's just give it a description and a context path. Okay, cool. So the backend service that we're going to use is what time is it? And let's hit next. Let's give it a simple plan. So let's do security type is keyless. Let's give it a test description. This is a test. And um, that's fine. Let's skip the documentation and let's create and start the API. Perfect. So nice and straightforward. What we've done is created an API and published it. So now if we head over to Postman, what we'll see is that we've got uh, Postman set up. We've got inline basic as the context path. If we hit send, then you can see 1857 that um, corresponds with the time now. If we hit that, you can see that the seconds is updating. So nice and straightforward. There's no authentication on this API at the moment, but that's what we're going to add. So let's head back over to API Manager and go to Design. Now, you can see our API flow has got no policies on at the moment, but what we're going to do is head over to Resources, and what you'll see, one of the authentication providers is inline so let's hit that let's give it a name um, inline resource oops not spelled that wrong inline resource there okay and uh, let's add a new user let's add fred password fred and another one and let's call that wilma and wilma Okay, cool. So we've added a inline policy. We've saved and deployed. Now let's head over to design and let's look for the basic authentication policy and drag that over. So what we're going to do now is that um, we're going to go to um, the description here and you can see new identity provider. Let's call that inline resource. Cool and save okay and deploy so now our api has got a basic authentication policy and we've used the inline resource so now if you head over to here it was previously working now it should fail unauthorized as we're expecting so now let's head over to authorization let's do basic auth let's call that fred and fred um, you can show the password if you wanted to just for example and if we send that now, you can see it passes. If I put Fred1 in there, then it should fail again, which it does. And let's do Wilma and Wilma. Okay, let's send that, that passes. But if we type in my name, it's gonna fail. Elish, it's gonna fail, we've got an override. So just a really straightforward way of adding a basic authentication using Gravity's inline resource. And it's really straightforward. So you've got an API, you've added the inline authentication provider, and subsequently you can add basic authentication to any of your APIs. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.